the scuttlebutt out there is. Your gut microflora are contributing to metabolic problems. The reason for this thinking is the gut residents of people with metabolic problems are different from the healthy. Actually, pretty much any time you compare gut flora of the healthy with the sick, they're different. It happens with obesity, Parkinson's, depression, etc. And when scientists take bacteria from obese mice and obese humans and transplant them into mice that are germ-free, that is, they have no bacteria, the germ-free mice always become fat. Putting two and two together, the gut flora must somehow be to blame. But there is an elephant in the room. A germ-free mouse is not exactly healthy. The absence of microflora leaves the animal with some serious problems because, well, the gut microflora do stuff. First off, they're involved in gut and immune development. So a germ-free animal has issues in both these departments. In germ-free mice, the gut barrier leaks like a sieve. It's hyperpermeable and the immune system is weak and pathetic. Hmm. So, squirting truckloads of bacteria into these compromised animals uh, might not be all that representative of reality. Well, this is what a group of French researchers speculated. And, well, they're right. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we find out how the elephant has been coloring the thinking. It turns out those different bacteria in obese animals and humans are not up to quite as much mischief as is commonly construed. Actually, they're good guys. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heifer lumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Now, to prove the point, the team transferred bacteria obtained from animals eating a high-fat diet into the guts of normal, healthy mice and watched what happened. Hmm. <laughs> the so-called fat microbiota didn't make the mice fat, but they did impact who was who in the zoo. Bacteria belonging to the Formicutes tribe moved in. This was not a big surprise, since Formicutes are typically associated with obesity and metabolic syndrome. The surprise was that it turned out not to be a bad thing. Their presence was metabolically beneficial, both in mice fed normal chow and especially in mice chowing down on high fat dinners. 
when the fat microbiota moved in, fasting glucose levels and hepatic gluconeogenesis, that is the production of glucose by the liver, dropped. This can be seen here. Translated, sugar levels in these mice were better controlled. And there was no sign of inflammation or fat accumulation in the liver. Problems usually associated with these kinds of fecal transplants into germ-free mice. Curious, the team wondered, how did they do this? They started their investigation by looking at which genes were turned on or off inside the animal's liver. They did find gene expression patterns had been changed by the fat microbiota. Interestingly, the liver metabolic changes had nothing to do with the genes controlling sugar production per se. Instead, the pathways that had been altered were those involved in the production of fat. At this stage, the details of how this happened are unclear, but it did happen. De novo lipogenesis, that is, homemade fat production, was curtailed. And this improved sugar homeostasis. Yay! Metabolic nirvana, not metabolic mayhem. So what does this mean? Well, the gut microbiome is a lot more complicated, and good guys and bad guys are relative. Clearly, who is in your gut matters. Who takes up residence is a reflection of your diet, your genes, and your body chemistry. And when it comes to health, the state of the gut is the deciding factor. Gut inflammation and or disruption of the gut barrier is the bigger risk. Rather than worrying about who is who in the zoo, focus on creating an environment that will help the right bacteria thrive. So you create better body chemistry and better health. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry or need a little help getting your body chemistry on track? visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com, browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who is scared to eat fat because of its potential negative effects on their gut microbiome, share this video with them so they can stop worrying. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.